hashtag starve helper. <laughs> I'm trying. Alright, so we have Pika Dittos. Remember the last few times we've seen this, it's actually gone. not necessary, not that close to time on purpose, but it like it's never like ended super quickly. Yeah, because it's hard to it's hard get to kill that kill set exactly up. As fast. Yeah. You know, I'll give Mouse Rat credit though. For as many times as he kills himself constantly, he is still super daring to play off stage, which is always like really good. Because it shows like you're willing to, you're still willing to put at that kind of risk. Ooh, all right. Ooh. <laughs> oh man, this is stereo. Look at him go. All right, Mousetrack gonna get that first kill with the dash attack. Only taking 46 damage. They were really going at it, but it really just showed that it was kind of one-sided uh, Mousetrack's favor. Pikachu. All right, all right. Uh, uh. Should have done that sooner. Yeah. Monster's just sitting back, like he's letting Joe like try to fish for some kind of kill. And that's like one of the biggest things about it. When you're playing a character like this where you know that uh, there's gonna be a certain sense of, de sense of desperation if you don't get the lead, it's really important to just like let them not tire themselves out necessarily, but just try to fish for kills a little bit. They'll give you more opportunities to, to widen the gap in your lead. Ugh. Jokon with a pretty decent uh, F smash to take the first, to make his first stock. And oh my, no okay. Tech, but it's Pikachu, so he makes it back. Mouserat was trying to get just uh, like trying to stuff him in that string, but then like almost getting stage spiked. This is a situation that make, that's really difficult. Right. For Pikachu is like, how do you kill someone? If you want to kill someone when they're between like 90 and 140, you have to take a certain amount of risk. It's like now Mouse Red has to kind of contend with that. Pretty good F smash, good micro spacing, uh, baiting in Joe to overextend and punishing for it. Even though Mouse Red was able to get the second kill uh, before Joe was able to get the second kill, uh, he is closing the gap. Uh, the lead mm -hmm. that Mouse Red had on that first kill. Uh, it's definitely smaller, so if Joe Pwn keeps remember, going in this upward trend. Yeah, it's just a repeat of what happened last time though, where Joe Pwn lost his stock first, and with the difficulty that he had trying to get the first kill, that's when Malshrat was able to really widen the gap. And it wasn't until like that stock was gone that uh, that Joe Pwn was able to catch up. You can expect the same kind of thing again with the second stock, honestly. Yeah, well, I mean, the percent gap is smaller uh, the second iteration time. Oh, uh, yeah, and now it's uh, really close. Uh, yeah, Joe Pwn's just kind of been uh, slowly bringing it back here. And Joe can Pwn we get something started? No. DI from uh, Mouse Rat. Clearly, uh, Joker wasn't expecting that. But nice. You know what? It doesn't matter. Pikachu with a very short string, making it basically even. Yeah. <sighs> now oh, there it is. Nice. Yeah, good out of shield option. A little unfortunate there. Great. A bit of a hurt box shift there with that up tilt, kind of just scooping him. But I mean, great awareness by Mouse Rat. Mm -hmm. All right. You can tell like he's definitely like looking for certain things right now. But Joe like has so much momentum right now that it's really hard for Mouse Rat to to, make, to try to widen the lead. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Joe Pone may have started at a deficit, but it's been slowly taking more control. Yeah, that's the thing is like you can you can get a Careful. lead all you want, but like if you're not able to maintain that control and actually try to reach a kill, uh, it's not gonna mean that much. Unless you're really strong. 
Yeah. Ugh! All right. And that dash attack, he got the first one. So that's the match. Jeez. All right, so Mousetrap taking game one. Uh, it looked really strong for him, uh, the first stock, but we saw Joe Pone kind of just bringing it back. So it ended up uh, really, like, the percent that he died at was the same percent that he also could have died at. So, like, that was really a toss-up. But Mouse Rat is going to get that first one in and uh, take mm -hmm. game one. I just really like the way that um, the Mouse Rat tried really hard to confirm the kill with uh, Thunder Jolt. And that's something that you can't really understand about this matchup. Is that Thunder Jolt's both your best and worst enemy when you're doing the ditto. Uh, it offers a much safer way for uh, for Pikachu to pressure someone's shield. And they can kind of disengage until like the very last second when they finally let it rip. Yeah, you gotta always be paying attention to your opponent. Mm -hmm. Let's see that Thunder Jolt again. Something that Mouse Red loves to go for a lot though is just like quick Thunder Jolt. He went to for a roll, enemy. I think. I think I caught a roll. You yeah, know, definitely, Jopon definitely got hit like a little bit before. It wasn't uh, true, but the fact that like there was a little bit of a gap made it even more difficult for, uh, for Jopon to react. He probably was, he probably just gonna shield it. He would probably got Three, it off. Two, one, go! All right, yeah, no real, no real need to change the stage here. Jopon, uh, honestly, it, the from beginning to end, he, it was beginning to just like tilt in his direction. So. Uh, honestly worth it. Just keep it the same, and if he's able to just keep it up uh, in an even bit playing field, then he can maybe try and turn it into a lead. And just like that, he's able to turn it into one, a very strong one at that. That run up yeah. back air, uh, having him like fast fall so he falls out of the multi hit, so he dodges the last hit. Uh, and Mouse Rod probably already had like buffered an air dodge to try and tech, but nothing to tech when you don't get actually knocked. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite thing to do off stage. Ooh, I, I feel like Pikachu is such so much harder to react to than, uh, than like Ivysaur or Squirtles is, and I don't really know why. Uh, blind hate for a character. It could be that. Give it an electric hitbox, so it has more blind hits. Back air is a physical hit. I know. Give it more. Let give it an electric hitbox. So oh. Hits. Jopon just trying not to engage until he's sure that it's safe to do so. Very good. Yeah, uh, you know, right now Mouse Rat is the one that's kind of in the position where they have to approach, and uh, he's just having trouble here. Jopon's kind of just running control right now. Yeah, I like that. Ooh. Oh, careful. It seems that Jopon's dominance is beginning to like beginning to waver, but it's gonna not gonna matter if you're not gonna get the kill. It's just gonna let Jopon just kind of further assess and adapt without any real repercussions. Yeah. Oh man, he went for some kind of drag down there. He didn't quite get the hit that he wanted, obviously. He could just allow to go mad deep with relatively little risk, so he was able to make it back, no problem. Jopon was just really much at this lead. And it feels like Mouse Rider doesn't really know exactly what to do. Nice tech. Unexpected attempt. All right. Great All right. Quick attack on the stage. Only gonna die to dash attack, and that wasn't even like super fast kill either. So. Great reset. Oh! I really like the fact that Jokon is just trying to stay airborne. Because, like, you see Mouse Rat's trying to get something started with, like, a grab. Or, like, he wants to do, like, maybe the nair loops or something. But, like, Jokon's just like, nah, I'm gonna just be in a position where that's not gonna matter. 
I'm gonna have to try something else. Maybe try and stuff my movement. Let's not go for optimal things that can't work in these positions. But oh Jopone evening up the stocks. Could it be a little too little too late? 125 to zero. You know what, man? Pikachu can rack on damage really well. It's not even it might take more interaction than I think it should. Uh, Pikachu can still rack on damage as he tries his best to avoid Jopone's kill moves. He should be able to bring him back pretty successfully. Yeah, Mouse Rat's definitely switching up the movement, and Jopone is. Uh, yeah, it's definitely slowing down. He's not really able to get uh, the hits that he needs. And kind of a little fishing like, right way. there. Mm -hmm. You can tell like Jopon is completely switched now. He's like, I need to get this kill because if I don't... Oh, there it is. Started, and there it is. He finally caught a Whopper. I like the, I like the way he started that with just like the, the walk. Just kind of freak him out. It's like, what am I going to go for? Is he going to T-Jolt? He's in T-Jolt uh, spacing here, and it just kind of looks like he's going to try and set up. But nah, he just goes for it. So, Joe Pong going to bring this to a game three. I really like how much uh, both of them really adapted to each other. It is worth noting that just like in game one, how it started strong for Mouse Rat, uh, and then Joe Pong started bringing it back. Mouse Rat, it starts super strong for Joe Pone because he got that first kill. Uh, that Gimp, basically. And, um, you know, Mouse Rat almost was beginning to bring it back uh, then. So, like, we, we've seen quite a bit of a, a dance from these two. Mm -hmm. The thing is, like, when you, uh, when you play a character like Pikachu, can really rack up damage. Uh, he has a bit. Of, he does have a little bit of difficulty killing. Mm. He has to put himself out there, which is very unusual for the character. And that's usually like the best opportunity to actually take him out. Ready? Uh, is when you are trying to. Uh, is when he's trying to swing with something heavy to get the kill. Dash attack is there as an option that will kill eventually, like 130, 140. But it's still. It is a little bit of a risk there. All right. And, and as long as you're looking out for that, Mouse Rat was game uh, at least three. for most of it. Starting, uh, gonna go to Battlefield. So game one and two, both on Smashville. They both kind of made all their adaptations on that stage. So uh, nice change of pace. Whoa, gonna get an early gimp on Joe Pone. He apparently, I think he didn't mean to get that back air as low as it was and uh, kind of didn't angle his uh, quick attacks uh, as narrowly as he probably wanted. Just yeah. falling just so short enough to not make it back. I think uh, on any other stage, it was just been straight up dead. But the lower blast zone on battle. Yeah, to very possible. So this is kind of the worst position you want to be in. You want like you get you die early on game three. You've put in so much work. You've shown that your opponent that you have what it takes. You have the gusto. But if you're gonna fumble the bag on that last encounter. That yeah, could be really a real bad. Yeah, I'd rather take a 2-0 than a 3 than a 2-1. I'd rather take the 0-2 than the 2-1. Where I barely like I kill myself immediately and it's just like I didn't really have a chance to get there. Because I screwed up. But we saw this last game and the game before, honestly, just super strong starts by one of them. So if if that's taught us anything, Joe Pone's still definitely in the game here. Alright, good neutral air dodge. Ooh! Mousetrap sneaking in behind and taking that smash myself. Alright, 3 to 1. Oh my, I really like this anti edge guard that uh, Mousetrap is going and then just keeps converting over and over again. Uh, yeah, you know, the shoe's this, really on the other foot right now. Yeah, this is Mousetrap's uh, counter pick too, so like, you know that. You know, he went here for a reason. He definitely has that comfort. Um, this is definitely a really good Pikachu stage. You know, just so many places for you to get get around. You're definitely allowed to make this movement here. You're allowed to move all you want. It's like when Joe Pong was in a position of power. Okay. Uh, okay, that's that. That's pretty good. When uh, Jopon was in a position of power where he actually, uh, where he had like, uh, where he had the lead, like you saw the way that he was playing, like he was playing much more reservedly. Um, like it's, 
it's rough like when you're when you're behind by a lot because of that mentality of I can't play defensively because I'll time myself out. But like he was working wonders for Mouse Rat the previous game. Like he wasn't engaging, he was waiting for uh for Joe to get impatient to try to commit to something because he knew that Joe didn't want just wanted to end it right then and there. And that's just kind of the thing you need to do. When you have this uh this kind of deficit. Yeah. yeah, this kind of feels like it might be a case of too little, too late here. Um, mm -hmm. That first stock really is going to mean quite a lot. Like, if he had another stock, this would be an entirely doable thing. Like, oh, what? A, it's just a little, it's just a percent deficit, but you have high blast zone, so it's like, okay, we might be able to make, salvage this. But you got a whole stock you got to take care of, homie. I think Mouse Rat is just like, he's just putting on whatever little bit of damage he can. Nice. Once he goes for the kill, he wants it to be guaranteed that it's going to like, that it's going to kill. Not necessarily going to land, but like, he doesn't want to, he wants to make this as easy as possible for the long run. And something that a lot of players don't really do now is just keep racking on damage safely until eventually they, what everything they do will kill. Yes, let the kill come to you. It does still take a modicum of confidence that you're not going to let them uh, get anything too strong. And I mean, like, technically Jopone is closing the gap, but, you know, if Mousrat is just waiting for the right moment... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Yeah. Oh my god. At this point, like, a fair at the ledge, or even for mid-stage, might be enough to do it. Uh, Jopone's not careful. The There's only just been multiple situations where Jopon was in a position where he could die, and Mousetrap took a small swing, but uh, it wasn't quite enough. All right, bait the dash attack. I don't think, yeah, I don't think Mousetrap's gonna go for that unless he gets off. This is real life. He, Ooh, he went firm. for it and got T-jolted and got a skull, uh, dash attack himself at the very end. 170. Wait, is oh, is it over? It is. All right, JV2. For Mouse Rat. <laughs> Let me see that bait that you're talking about. That it knows the Pikachu wins! Yeah. Remember, I actually see the winner stay on. Oh, yeah? Who's a. Are you ready for your favorite matchup? Rob versus Pikachu. <laughs> okay. Joshathan, then? Yeah. Well, I don't think Joshathan's gonna stay. Uh... Rob, he's probably gonna go. He's almost definitely gonna go pay, pay this. Okay. You can neutral B should have more lag and he should have should have up throws kill throw or any kill throws in general. Yeah, Joe Pone, you did a good job uh, almost bringing it back though. Good stuff. Or at least a good attempt. It's hard to stay patient when you're when you're uh, fighting an a battle like that. Ugh. 